um, on this project, we were contacted, well, I was contacted by the prison. Of course, I knew the staff in the prison at the time, Mrs. Cardiff Prison. And they contacted me with this idea that they would like to start up social enterprises at uh, three, at least three, prisons across South Wales. So I had to train up the staff in enterprise, how to start a business, how to run the business. They would also teach their inmates how to start a business, how to run a business, but there was an extra element here. They would also facilitate starting up a business at the prisons. Uh, this course is fantastic. It's something I've always quite looked at in the workshops, by being quite innovative and being creative. Social enterprise has never been done inside a prison environment, as far as I know anyway. Uh, and for me, I'm looking at running a social enterprise in Cardiff Prison. If we can create a little bit of money or profit, then that would be self-invested in a further qualification for prisoners. I think social enterprise is the way forward, and I think for, bit, for the prison system itself, it's a significant change. We, we're going to be benefiting from staff being able to teach this from either running a social enterprise in the establishment, obviously the prison will be able to profit from that, but the inmates will benefit because the ultimate goal is, is to reduce reoffending. As a teacher advisor, I'm hoping to be able to pass on the knowledge and experience from this course to some of the guys who are eager to turn their lives around. And hopefully it's the start of, of something bigger and better and then we can link in with the expertise that our university has uh, and they'll be there to support us whilst we support uh, our prisoners, hopefully to, to, to gain a better life, not only for themselves but for the, the rest of the community, the wider community. It costs a lot of money to keep the guys in prison. Benefits would be to um, get the prisoners to reduce, uh, give them these skills and reduce reoffending, get employment upon release and uh, teach them more skills. And again, opening their minds up to, we don't want them back really. And these skills that they learn with us could be passed on to their children. And uh, it takes everybody's boxes, really. Well, it's given me a few ideas for uh, developing uh, what we call social enterprises. Um, because we have the farm, um, which is a traditional dairy farm, and the main income is from, from milk. Um, but I've often, often thought there is other things we could be doing and this course will hopefully give us, give me some of those skills that we need to set up a social enterprise and we're hoping to be able to sell uh, the produce locally but also to make links with businesses um, so that we can um, sell commercially then to restaurants, hotels. Obviously, I mean, if it's a success, then of course we could pan it out possibly to um, English prisons. So, I mean, there's, there's a huge opportunity here. So and, and for the sake of um, society and for the sake of these people, um, I really hope that um, some good uh, will come out of this, um, uh, this project. Mm -hmm.